Greetings, 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 my lovelies, and I am back with another video, and today, <laughs> my lovelies, oh my god, what I am doing today is, I am working with these gorgeous, gorgeous papers that were created by my sister, Miss Clemmy. yes, oh my god, you guys, these papers, they are so gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous paper. And I have been talking with her for about a year about doing her own papers. And I am so proud of her that she decided to branch out. Look at that, you guys. She decided to branch out and do her own papers. And they are simply, simply gorgeous. Um, This is Rosaline Solo. That is the name of this paper collection, and you can find it in her Etsy store, and I'll um, put a link in the description box below. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a journal using these papers. And this is going to be my personal journal because I always I wanted something of my sister, something personal. And uh, these papers, I mean, I, when she showed these papers, I was screaming, looking at the screen. And oh my goodness, you guys, how beautiful is that? How pretty is that? And I mean, they are just simply gorgeous, gorgeous papers for her to just be starting out making her own papers so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put together a little personal journal and this is going to be my personal book of shadows and i'm working on this in the month of october i'm i want it to be elegant and these papers just were perfect because they are red toned and brown toned and they are just perfect and they're music papers and they have clocks and oh just beautiful papers so what I did was I went ahead and I covered a um, padded envelope. I covered the inside with one, one of her papers. And I'm going to cover the outside and then I'm going to pull together my signature. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk through parts of this video and parts of it. I'm going to speed up and play some music. So you guys just kind of follow along and I'm going to kind of show you how I'm going to pull together this journal using one of her digital kits and um, my goal in creating this video is to show you how you can um, stretch a digital kit and make it work for you okay when people make digital kits you want to try and use it uh, the way they present it, but you also want to stretch it out and make it work for you So that is kind of what I'm going to show you in this video I'm also going to use a few of my own papers to make some uh, cards and um, I'm doing that because I wanted some of when you're creating some you want something personal of yours are in it and so that's kind of my thinking on that so I'm going to use a few of my papers to make a few cards, but basically this whole journal is going to be pulled together using Clemmy's papers. And yeah, just gorgeous, gorgeous papers. And some of them I printed out on cardstock so I can have cards and whatnot. And they just print up so beautifully. They are gorgeous, gorgeous papers. Clemmy! Girl, you did that, girl. Yes, you did. Oh, my God. I love them. I love these papers. Look at that, you guys. Look how vibrant and beautiful that is. Look how creative that is. I mean, just gorgeous, gorgeous papers. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get started on this little journal. And again, like I said, this is going to be a personal journal for myself. It's going to be kind of like a book of shadows. Um kind of a um, gratitude dream book so yeah and I decided on this piece for my cover I love this piece so much and so I decided to use this piece for my cover and I'm gonna go ahead and get started with that so probably in the first half of this I'm going to um, play some music through it and then I'll come back when I go into the inside and uh, share some more with you yeah so Let's do this with Clemmy's paper collection. Yes, here we go. Okay. 
Okay, guys, guys, go ahead and uh, sue me because I went ahead and I put the signature in <laughs> without showing it on camera. And uh, I'm just not going to be able to get everything on camera. It's like 5 o'clock in the morning here. I started this like 4 a.m. Because sometimes I don't sleep, you guys. Sometimes I stay up all night. Yes. Uh. And, um, yeah. I have insomnia sometimes. So, anyway, I went ahead and put the signature in. And so you like catching the end of that. And, um. I am going to go to bed shortly because I have been up all night and it's, like I said, it's 5.29, 5.30 in the hot Atlanta. So, I am going to, um, hold on, let's see that before. I am going to go to bed shortly, but I want to get my signature in. And I decided to only have one signature in this uh, journal. And I decided that because uh, I really didn't have a reason. I just, with this type of journal that I'm thinking of making for myself, one signature will work because I'm going to be carrying it in my uh, carry-on bag when I travel and I'm gonna be carrying it with me pretty much everywhere I go so one signature would be enough but oh my god it's so cute already so cute with my one signature and I added some um, brown papers with it yeah, it's so pretty. So this is going to be black. The cover is going to be pretty much black. So I've already painted it because I covered it with the, some of that brown paper. And I've already covered the outside with some black acrylic paint. And now I'm going to cover it with my, um, I got I, the picture that I have. Let me see. I'm going to go ahead and cover it with my picture. It's going to go on there like that. But first of all, first of all, first of all, I got some lace. Ooh, that's pretty. I got some lace that, uh, just like a trim or remnant of some lace that I'm going to put on here. And what I'm going to do is I got two two or three different pieces of lace that I want to put on here. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see what this looks like. So, mm -mm. Okay, this is not the one. This is not the one that I want on oh, now. Okay, I want this. This thinner one. I want this thinner one on top. On top of this. So I'm going to put that on there like that. And then I'm going to put this thinner one on top of it like that. Because I want it to have like kind of a spider webby look. Okay. So, yeah. So I just put that on the front. I didn't put it on the back. I decided to leave the back with this beautiful design. And the front, I wanted it to have that spider web look. So, that's what I got on the front. And now, I'm going to put my picture on 
I'm just gonna go on here something like that y'all but I'm gonna cut it up a little bit just a little bit not much because I don't want to cut up all this beauty but I need it to be a little smaller so I'm gonna cut it just about like that and it's gonna go on the front right there just like that well I guess that kind of covered up all my spider web didn't it so I really could have left it on but that back I'm just gonna leave it plain just like that but still look how pretty that is on the front of that okay so I'm gonna do this up and I'll be back So, I am working on the inside today, you guys. The inside of this little uh, book of shadows that I am creating for myself. And it is, uh, um, it's going to be like a dream book, like a gratitude book that I write in on a daily basis and put my thoughts and ideas and whatnot. And uh, I went ahead and pulled together a few things that I wanted to use in here. I have some clocks and I have some cameos that I printed, some clocks and some cameos. And I have some words that I printed. And I also have some pictures of my I have some little cameos that I made and these are pictures of my family members that's my mother and I have my mother my father my kids my grandmother my great-grandmother is in here my aunt I have um, 
my ancestors, my family members in here. And I'm going to put these in this book also. I have some pictures. I have a picture of me and my husband. I have some pictures of me. And I'm going to be using those in here as well. So what I'm going to do today is I want to work on the foldouts. And the foldouts that I have are envelopes. I like to do the envelope style foldouts in my journals. Um, right now, that is my favorite thing to do. And I do that because I can always print more papers. And I can write on these papers. And then I can print more of them to go in the little envelope whenever I want to change them out. And so I think that's just a great idea for a simple little folded envelope that can go in my journals. And so how I do that, for those who might not know, is I just take one sheet of paper, one um, sheet of the paper, and I fold it over in the shape of an envelope. And then I cut it. In the, on the corner just cut that corner because then that gives it that rounded look and fold it over again and then you have a little envelope you have shape of an envelope and then I open it up and I do another one on a little smaller and put it on the inside so that is how that is created so I'm going to um, put these envelope I'm going to install these envelopes and once I install the envelopes I want to put some cameos the my little closure for my envelopes are going to be those little cameos so I'm going to put those on and then I'm just going to have some fun with this uh, little journal and use some of uh, Clemens ephemeral and her beautiful cards and tags and um, pull this little journal together so
guys so that just about wraps it up for this little episode and i hope it helped you in some way and uh the next video will be the flip through of this beautiful little journal using um clement creations um rosaline solo and her uh timeless rose papers and all of her ephemeral is in here in this beautiful little journal and yeah i'll have a flip through on the next one thanks for watching much love